Welcome back, YouTubers. We are back in the greenhouse. It's been a while since I've been in, been in here. It's finally spring in Pennsylvania. And uh, you can see here I got my radishes going again. And I just wanted to go over today my cracky beds for my lettuce system. So this is, you know, it's really straightforward. It's just a wood frame screwed together with a plywood bottom and lined with plastic. Basically, I just put the plastic inside, I fill it with water, and then I just cut it along the wood. And I don't even strap it down because there's just no point. Uh, the styrofoam is just gonna sit on top. The styrofoam does not float in the water in this case. Some people do it that way. In this case, I'm putting the styrofoam cut so it's on top of the wood, as you can see down there. Now, when you go to the hardware store and you buy your styrofoam, you don't have to get one inch, but it's a little bit sturdier. Uh, do not buy, <laughs> this is, styrofoam that has like an aluminum or I don't even know what it is but it's it's shiny on one side reflective well eventually it just deteriorates in the sun and it starts breaking up and it goes everywhere and it's just a mess so I do not recommend buying that kind and once you have it cut it to the size you need and then we drill I mean, depending on what nut size you can, cup size you're using these are just two and a half inch holes two and a quarter three quarters maybe and these are three inch neck cups and they fit in there perfectly. Um, when you buy neck cups, you want to kind of have a nice lip. So it's something sturdy to go against because the plants can get heavy over time and you don't want them falling through. So you can see I got my first round of lettuce here. And the water is just at the bottom. That's simple folks. I'm using Hydroton uh, as a medium inside here. Um, some people don't use that. It's a little expensive, but it works really well. It keeps the plant where it needs to be and it keeps the sun from going through and it absorbs water nicely. So in the beginning here, I will mist these down just to keep these, these uh, clay pellets a little bit wet until the roots come all the way down. So this is day one. These seeds were planted, um, germinated probably about, I don't know, a week and a half ago. Uh, so they're really young, but I'll bring you along in a week and I'll uh, show you the progress. And eventually I'll, I'll do these other two uh, with different varieties of lettuce. So see you in a week. Okay, let me clarify things real quick. The holes here are three inches that are drilled with a three inch hole saw. So when you drill these out, this is the perfect size for a three inch neck cup. And as you can see, this is a three inch neck cup. It fits in there perfectly. Now, let me talk about neck cups. You can see I have two different neck cups here. These are the ones I bought originally and I made the mistake without thinking that the lip, you can see there's barely a lip there compared to the other one, right? Well, it fits in there fine, but you can see it's any weight when that plant starts to grow and get heavy, it's just gonna punch right through there and fall in. So when you buy neck cups, make sure you get ones that have a nice lip and they fit in there perfectly. Now, the width of my, or the thickness of my styrofoam is two inches okay you can go one inch but the neck cup's just going to sit in further which is fine and you adjust the water as needed but two inches makes it just enough so like a half inch is sticking into the bottom where the water will level will be and also just to clarify the holes themselves are about i don't know four inches apart some are three inches i didn't do anything you know perfectly mathed out here i just eyeballed it but that's a good distance for lettuce now it depends on what you're growing and different varieties grow wider than others. So it's up to you what you wanna do. Now on to, this is 14 days in here. And let's check on some of the lettuce. Looking really good. We haven't had a whole lot of sun, but the roots are looking really nice. Beautiful, white, healthy roots. And I give it another two weeks. Probably start harvesting some of these. Just go underneath real quick, take a quick peek. Looks good. Uh, a week after that, I put in this, this is arugula. Um, they're kind of a s more slow growing lettuce to start, so it's, it's taking a little bit longer, but uh, once they once they take off, I've said they've probably been in here a week, and I'm just barely starting to see roots come out of there. So next I'm gonna fill up these with uh, butter crunch lettuce, and I'll walk you through how I do that. Okay, real quick, let's go over the Master Blend uh, nutrient solution that I mixed together. Um, the Master Blend usually comes in a three pack on Amazon. And 
I just follow the instructions that are on here and it says, you know, if I zoom in real close, basically you want two teaspoons of the master blend, two teaspoons of calcium nitrate, and two of some salt. And I just follow the order that it says on the packaging in a five gallon uh, bucket of water. Uh, you mix one in at a time. And then once that's all done, uh, I'm gonna check the pH and lower it down because I have well water, which is usually high for me. And I'm gonna lower it down to right around 616.2 uh, using you know either acid or um, pH lower, which you can get at pretty much any home store or a pool store. I have acid because uh, I have a large pool and it's, it's the best way to lower the pH in, in my pool. So let me mix that up and I'll show you at the end. Okay, here's the final mixture. It's always gonna have a little greenish tint because of the color of the master blend. Um, but that's it, you mix it up, lower the pH or, or raise it if you have to. Um, it's right around 6.2, 6.1. And dump her in your cracky bed and that's it. Fill it up to the level you need. And I don't measure parts per million and all that goofy stuff. I don't get too complicated with the chemistry. This is uh, all I need to do. And I use this for all my hydroponics and my radishes and, and my grow towers and, and everything. So same formula all the way around. That's it, set it, forget it. Okay, right. here's my butter crunch seedlings. Uh, they're just thrown into a, a small area. I don't have you know, specific seed spots. So what I'm gonna do is cut out this, these larger areas uh, with a knife, I'll just pull them out and I'm gonna wash all the soil off and gently pull the roots, you know, the, each plant apart. These plants are pretty resilient, so you can be kind of rough with them and they'll, they'll do fine. Obviously they're gonna be stunted in, in the day, days ahead, but once they come back, they come back strong. So let me show you how I do that. Okay, next. I got a nice clump here that I pulled out and I'm just gonna slowly start separating bunches and some of them I won't even wash off at all, but they're in big clumps. I'll just take the hose and gently shower them off. Get some of that soil off of there. And it's okay to have soil. It's not gonna hurt anything to have soil in your median or you know with your neck cups. It's not gonna hurt anything. So we'll separate these and we'll get inside start putting them in the net cups and filling them up with hydroton. All right, that's simple. See, I'm not hurting this plant at all. It'll be fine. All right, we're back inside. I have a plant here that is looking pretty healthy and already pretty big. So I'm going to choose the best ones in this group. And I want the root to be kind of at the bottom. So it's actually going to be in some water. So I try to center it and I want the plant to be far. And I don't want it to be too high. I want it to be in in the neck cup because I want it to have a good base so it doesn't just flop around. So I want the hydroton to hold it in place. So I'm gonna pour some in here. I'm sorry if I'm blocking the camera, uh, but you'll see when I spoon this around. I fill on one side and then I'll top it off the other side. And that just about be enough. Throw a little bit more in there because I also what you want to not only is it going to hold it in place you want the hydroton to block the sunlight from going inside otherwise you're just going to have algae mess underneath the styrofoam so that's about it folks dip it in that's it in four weeks five weeks maybe you're going to have a full grown plant it grows pretty quick once the sun gets out here and uh, towards May uh, they'll grow real fast so that's how it's done. I'll bring it back in about two weeks to show you where we're at. All right, two weeks later, here we are. These bad boys are ready to eat. I've already uh, picked some of these leaves for a salad the other day. Um, they'll continue to grow out the middle here, so we'll pick the larger leaves out, and we'll just keep growing for another couple weeks, maybe four more weeks before I take these out and replace them with something. Um, the roots here are pretty healthy. Still a lot of water in there. So uh, no need to adjust the water level. The arugula is doing well. He's only been in here for two weeks, so another two weeks and these, these things will explode higher. And uh, here's the lettuce that we did uh, as, a, as a demo. And they've been in here two weeks as well. So another, another two weeks for these and they'll be as big as those. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. It's easy peasy, set it and forget it cracky with lettuce. It's really a no brainer. It's pretty simple to do and it doesn't cost a whole lot to build all this stuff out. So hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time, YouTube. Thanks for watching.